And perfect. We're rolling. G'day, mates. Sniper for Team Fortress 2 back at it again with another Morning Machines episode to watch and react to. Today's episode is To the Rescue. Alright, let's bloody begin, shall we? Here we go. Ooh, nice lifeboat. What a fine morning. It's a perfect day to practice. Hi, kids. I'm the Sambro, a Coast Guard boat. The Sambro? It's my job to rescue sailors and boats that get into difficulty out in the ocean. That's actually a very fancy I'm lifeboat, not gonna lie. For a practice. We've cast off. There's that music we heard in buses, subways, and trains when we saw the uh, Go Transit train. Hi, Bloody hell, look at the size oh, of that fishing boat. Have a good practice. See you later. Yeah, so my guess is that he's going out for a practice to uh, test the results of um, rescuing people out in the water. That's my guess. I'm stationed in this snug little cove right next to the ocean. going to leave the harbor and head out to the open sea to do our training exercises. I love it out there. Nothing but wind and waves and water. That's the place for a boat like me. Yeah, it's actually nice and calm out here. No big waves. Not even a bloody storm. Boats avoid the rocks and find their way back into the harbor. Yep, without a lighthouse, those ships and boats it would be, be gone. Dangerous out on the ocean. That's where rescue boats like me come in. But if we're going to be good at our jobs, we need to practice. So let's get busy. See all the equipment that I have on my deck? A Coast Guard boat has to be prepared for everything. Yeah, we all see it, mate. There's the emergency dinghy up on the top deck. Those two white barrels, one on the bow and the other at the stern, hold inflatable lifeboats. See that long pole near the stern? <laughs> I like those cartoon sound effects whenever they show the what they have. With a life ring. That helps the searchers find the person in the water. That's Captain Beasley coming through the hatchway. Yeah, good day, Captain Beasley. Lost day out here. The captain is in command of the boat. This is my bridge. It's the control center of the boat. There's the steering wheel. Only on a ship, <laughs> it's called the helm. Bloody hell, the sniffy captain nose again. He is also the helmsman. He steers the boat and controls the engines with those throttles. Yeah, it actually looks very simple. Not gonna lie. That's the radar screen. That arm turning around up on the mast is part of the radar. It can see nearby land and boats and shows them on the radar screen. And this is an electronic chart of the coastline. It shows the land and gives the depth of the water. Ships need to know all this to navigate safely. Oh, yes, they do. My engineer is checking out my instrument panel. Look at all those switches and lights. I know. There's a lot Here's to there's a lot to control. <laughs> it shows the crew how much fuel I'm using and my speed. Okay. Hang on everybody. 
buddy. I'm going to show you how fast I can go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, Jesus. We're going so bloody fast. Crikey. My two engines have lots of power, which I need when I speed out to emergencies. Look at the wake I'm churning up. Oh, wow, what a wake. Give me full throttle, Captain. Yeah, full throttle all the way. We're really moving through the ocean. Bloody hell, this, this lifeboat can really move fast. Knots. 24 knots. Yeah, actually pretty good speed, not gonna lie. I'm a high <laughs> lifeboat, especially built to operate in extreme weather conditions at sea. I like the music in the background. The ocean is nice and calm today, but when it's stormy, the waves can get very big and nasty. And that's often when boats get into trouble. <laughs> Side to side. Yeah, we see it, mate. I could roll completely upside down and come back up again. That's how strong and stable I am. Not every boat can do that. Well, I don't think it's possible for you to um, actually roll upside down into the water and then come back up again. What about your crewmen at the very top right there? What's going to happen to them if you go underwater? Probably drown. All right, let's get on with the practice exercise. All right, looks like Zodiac is coming by. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be practicing this time. Really move through the water. <laughs> there he is. Ahoy, Zodiac. Ahoy, Sabro. I really had to scoot to catch up with you. I'm a rescue boat too, kids. Sabro and I work together on rescue missions. I can go faster than him, but not as far. We're hearing that same music we heard in At the Ski Hill. We need a brave volunteer for our man overboard exercise. And since Donald is already wearing his survival suit, ha 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 Problem. That fancy yellow suit is waterproof, so he stays warm and dry. And... It also keeps them afloat. Yeah. Okay, just relax. I'm going to go a little ways away so we can practice searching. That's actually a really nice uh, we'll outfit. Turn and come back to rescue you. I'm, I'm glad it keeps us warm because the ocean is so bloody cold. <laughs> there are over 600 boats that help us search and rescue kids. The area I look after reaches 125 nautical miles from my harbor, up and down the coast and out into the ocean. Sometimes I work with helicopters, too. That's always exciting. Helicopters, eh? Okay, <laughs> this is far enough. We can't leave Donald out there too long. The water's cold. The captain has a good view from up here on my flying bridge. There's that music we heard in uh, building a truck and uh, buses, subways, and trains. Oh, tell me about it. The ocean is bloody vast. You don't know what's going to come up in front of you. Oh. There's a speck on the water over there. What is it? Let's move closer and see what it is. Donnie! Yeah! Closer, mate. Closer. Little further. Gotta get him with the stick. Little further. Closer. And. Got him. Gotcha. Now, here comes the tricky bit. We've got to fish Donnie out of the water. They use a long pole to guide him alongside toward the rescue ladder. That's called the Jason's Cradle. Jason's Cradle. I like that Donnie name. Floats into it. And they hoist him up onto the deck. 
I rolled him up. Yeah, please ignore my stuffy nose. Stuffy nose is getting really bloody annoying. Alright, heave him up, mates. Well done, Donnie. You did a good job being a special um, person to be a part of the man overboard practice mission. Couldn't finish what else I was going to say because of how exciting that practice was. Whoa, look at that chopper. Isn't that fancy? I'm Cormorant, a national defense helicopter. A CH-149 CH Cormorant. Today is training day at the airbase. That's right. We all have different exercises to practice today. Even Labrador is flying today. She's the biggest helicopter on the base. Oh, the CH-113 Labrador. I'm just warming up my engines, kids. Yeah, the CH-47 Chinook is definitely bigger than the Labrador. That gives me extra lift so I can carry more weight, like passengers or supplies. Here comes the last member of my flight crew. Hurry up before it takes Hurry off without you. So I can close my back hatchway. Wow. I know what that bloody plane is, judging by the propellers. That is a C-130 Hercules. From Lockheed Martin. Bloody hell, that plane is so bloody cool. Parachute drops. Equipment and emergency supplies to remote settlements. <laughs> There's the thumbs up signal. That means I'm ready to take to the sky. All right, he's going. What an awesome plane! Four big engines, and I need them all because I carry heavy loads. I can transport people, emergency relief supplies, even vehicles. I can carry huge fuel tanks, enough to transport 100 plane loads of fuel. Sometimes, I even refuel other planes in mid-air. Yeah, isn't that a fancy tactic for most planes? It's a little foggy today, but it won't stop me. Fog, <laughs> rain, snow, I fly in all kinds of weather. I've landed on ice, snow... Gravel and dirt. I'm renowned for my many feats of daring. <laughs> you really think that the wheels on a C-130 Hercules would land on all those kinds of terrains? He sure is. Not only does he carry all those supplies, but he can stay in the air for a long time. So oh, can keep he's taking off, mites. He's going to practice his parachute dropping from his rear cargo hatch. Have a good one, mate. Take care, Cormorant. <laughs> Bye. See you later. He vanished. <laughs> yeah, right through the bloody fog. I'm heading off on my mission now. What is your mission, Labrador? I have to practice some heavy lifting with my cargo hook. I'm so strong I can pick up a vehicle. Wow. Anything else today? Well, I'm also scheduled to practice landing <laughs> in the water. My hull is watertight. And really? I can float like a boat. Oh yeah, I can see the holes That's right there cool. on the side, so... Uh... And wet, too. <laughs> hmm. oh, I'd better get started myself. Nose. The first thing to check is my rotor blades. Watch how they pivot up and down. I can adjust the angle of each blade to give me more lift. That's how I take off. I have one big rotor on top and a small one on my tail. 
They're like the other helicopters you saw That's in the sky. But, uh, these He's ones are the better and they're air. bigger. Bigger and better. <laughs> every single time I start up, everything has to be checked. While my engines get warmed up, the flight crew goes through their checklist. Here's my flight deck. The pilot is on the right. The co-pilot on the left. And each one has his own set of instruments. I usually have two pilots. Plus my search and rescue technicians. Yeah, this helicopter is just as bloody packed Close as that bloody door. boat. And the back hatchway. And it's closed. We're ready to take off. All right. Here we go. Oh, here's that same catchy music we heard with uh, Sambro when he was showing how fast he could go through the water. Lift off. Yeah, why not use it again to see how he flies? <laughs> see how this Corman flies, to be more specific. See how I can hover in the air? A helicopter can lift straight up and hang in the air just like, like a hummingbird. My big rotor gives me lift, and the small one helps me steer. <laughs> I can even do a complete circle in one spot in midair. Amazing! Yeah. Not only that, helicopters can fly sideways and even backwards. Airplanes can't do that. Of course they can. Only helicopters okay. do something like that. It's time to head out of my practice mission. All right, there he goes. And he's leaving the air base. Goodbye, airfield. Bloody hell, that's one big airfield, not gonna bloody lie. I love flying. Yeah, I know. Flying is amazing. Except uh, there are people who are afraid of heights, so, um, yeah. The pilots have a good view of everything around them. But they also have to keep a watch on all the instruments to make sure there's no trouble. Of course we don't want any there's bloody trouble, do we? There's a lot to know about how to fly a helicopter. It takes a lot of practice, too. That's why we're up here. That stick is called the cyclic, and it's my main control. My pilots use it to steer me wherever they need me to go. Yeah, but for planes, they call it a yoke. Inside my cabin, I have special rescue equipment. The yoke looks. The yoke on the plane looks more That's like a steering wheel. For lifting up and carrying people who are injured. <laughs> well, the cycling on the helicopter is. Um, and this is another type of rescue basket. It looks like a game controller. The crew uses <laughs> it to lower down supplies or to pick up people from the water or on the ground. Helicopters are great for getting into parts of the country where there are no roads and other rescue vehicles can't go. Yep, that is true. Unlike ambulances, fire trucks, or police cars. rescuing someone lost in the woods. I'm going to fly along for a while until I find a good place to practice. Things sure look pretty from up here. Oh yeah, they, oh, yeah, they woods, bloody do. Lakes, rivers. Hmm. This is a good spot. No power lines or tall trees in the way. Well, I mean, open fields is good for practicing uh, lowering and lifting your uh, little crate. Practice lowering the basket out my side door using the hoist. It's that red thing on the side, just above my door. <laughs> Another bloody cartoon sound effect. Yeah, we see it. So they can use the Don't basket worry. to uh, lower my and raise it. technician has a safety harness on, so he won't fall. Yeah, so in case he snips, the uh, the harness will catch him, like bungee jumping. Except he's accidentally falling out of the helicopter, not. 
and not jumping from a high height and then bouncing back up. He's using the hoist controls to lower it down gently. Down, down, down to the ground. I can hover here in the air and lower things down to the ground and then winch them up again. That hoist is one of my most important parts. This is exactly the way we would lower emergency supplies or pick up people if they were stranded in the wilderness. Yeah. Rescuing people. That's our job. Yep. Good work, That's what search and rescue Another is all about. Successful practice mission. Along with um, firefighting... Helicopters also perform rescues over water, and that's when we team up with the Coast Guard. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see I what's heard next. I on the radio that another helicopter is over in the harbor practicing with the Sambro. That will be exciting. Oh yeah. Wait a second, is that the same general location that we saw in the previous episode making waves? Hello again, kids. I this think is it is. Hey, there's our old the friend Guard Sambro. National Defense. He's going to be partnering with the helicopter. Are you ready up there, Cormorant? Ready. I bet all these um, helicopters with the different voice actors are all named Cormorant. Look at that spray. Oh yeah, the bloody downwash from the rotor blades. It's crazy. Come in closer, Cormorant. Okay, Sambro. Here's the drill. I'm going to lower my technicians down onto your deck. Oh, yeah, I'm excited to see what's coming up next. getting things ready. Open the door. I need to get positioned a little closer to you, Sambro. Here he comes. He's out the door. Down he goes. Yeah, that is the same location from Making Waves. This is Halifax. In rescues, we often have to lower one of our crew down to help. It's a difficult maneuver, and that's why we have to practice. The pilot has to hold me good and steady. If the wind is blowing, it can be risky. I think we saw that. I think we saw that footage before with the other comment. He's giving the hand signals. He's his arms? Those are hand signals. Directing the pilot to bring him closer. He's almost there. Just a little bit lower on the cable. Yeah. Close to Sambro. Hold your position, Sambro. Yep. Hold right it right on. bloody there. Holding steady. That's it. He's safely aboard. Nice. Great. Now, and uh here comes the next one. Oh, the next one's coming. Stay still. Stay in that same position, mate. You're doing good. Oh, I'm really loving this. <laughs> wow. He's really getting a shower from all that spray. Oh yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. With the bloody downwash from the rotor blades. Yeah, a little closer. Down onto the deck. And His lower. Keeps back out of the way. And Fantastic. he's aboard. He's down. We did it. Hooray. Nice. That was actually really good. Now I'll give them a chance to get back to the aft deck. And then I'll hoist them back up again. Here comes the first one. All right, there's crewmate number one. I think that one was reversed. There's his signal. Up you go. And there's the second crewmate. Well done, Cormorant. Mission accomplished. What a good team we make, Sambro. I wish all our rescues were this straightforward. This has been a great practice exercise. Oh, yeah, it bloody has. Say, 
Practice makes perfect. I'll be heading back to practice the always now. makes perfect. See you again, Cormorant. Bye. Well, now I have to head back to my home port. This has been an excellent practice day. Oh, I bet it has, mate. Helicopters and boats and crews are prepared for any emergency. <laughs> hey, there's my buddy, Zodiac. How did it go, Zabro? Those helicopters are pretty cool, aren't they? <laughs> I like how Zodiac just bounces Sorry, on the water. Zodiac. It's so funny. I'm proud to be one of the many members boing, of the boing, and boing, squad. Boing, 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 as he bounces on the, the bloody water. That Zodiac Whenever boat must trouble, have really there. good buoyancy. Sometimes it's dangerous and hard work, but in the end, it's all worth it. Yep, totally. So long for now, kids, and keep safe. Yep, see you later. And guess what? We made it to the end of the episode. Now that was actually a really exciting one too, because of all the rescue practice. And I really did enjoy all of that. Alright, let's sit through the credits. Where's my list? Um, here it is. To the rescue. Checked off. And there's three more season two episodes left before we move on to the next season. Well, we're getting through this pretty fast. Well, anyway, mates, I hope you enjoyed another episode of me watching Martin Machines. And as always, I'll see you mates in the next episode. See you later.